Hi, welcome to Reena's YouTube channel. Today we are going to see about lines and angles. Now we will see about some basic terms and definitions. First one is line. A line is a straight one dimensional figure having no thickness and extending infinitely in both direction. Next line segment. A part of line with two end point is called a line segment. Ray. A part of a line with one end point is called a ray. Collinear points. If three or more points lie on the same line, they are called collinear points. Otherwise, they are called non-collinear points. Next, we will see about angles. When two rays originate from the same point, then it is called angle. The rays making an angle are called the arm of the angle and the end point is called the vertex of the angle. Now I am going to show you types of angle. See the acute angle in figure. An acute angle measures between 0 and 90 degree. Next right angle. Right angle is exactly equal to 90 degree. Obtuse angle. An angle greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is called obtuse angle. Next is straight angle. See in figure. An angle is exactly equal to 180 degree. This is called straight angle. See the reflex angle in figure. That is an reflex angle which is greater than 180 degree but less than 360 degree. Next complementary angle. Two angles whose sum is 90 degree are called complementary angle. The supplementary angle. Two angles whose sum is 180 degree is called the supplementary angle. Adjacent angles. Two angles are adjacent if they are having a common vertex, a common arm and their non-common arms are on different side of the common arm. See the figure the angle ABD, angle DBC are adjacent angles. Ray BD is their common arm and point B is their common vertex. Ray BA, ray BC are non-common arms. Therefore, angle ABC equal to angle ABD plus angle DBC. Linear pair of angles. Two angles form a linear pair if they have a common arm, common vertex, their interiors do not overlap and the sum of the two angles is 180 degree. See in this figure, if the non-common arms BA and BC form a line, then angle ABD and DBC are called linear pair of angles. When two lines AB and CD intersect each other at the point O, there are two pairs of vertical opposite angles. They are angle AOD and BOC, angle AOC and DOB. See the figure shows the intersecting lines and the parallel lines. Note that the length of the common perpendicular at different points on these parallel lines is the same. This is equal length is called the distance between two parallel lines. Pairs of angles. See the line AB and the OC. The angles are angle AOC, angle BOC and angle AOB. Here angle AOC plus angle BOC equal to angle AOB. We know the measure of angle AOB equal to 180 degree. Therefore angle AOC plus angle BOC equal to 180 degree. The definition of axiom 1 is, if a ray stands on a line, then the sum of two adjacent angles so formed is 180 degree. In axiom 2, if the sum of the two adjacent angles is 180 degree, then the non-common arms of the angles form a line. Parallel lines and a traversal. The line which intersects two or more lines at a distinct points is called a traversal. See the figure line L intersects lines M and N at points P and Q respectively. Therefore line L is the traversal for M and N. Observe the four angles are formed at each of the points P and Q that is angle 1 and angle 2, angle 7 and angle 8 are called the exterior angle while angle 3, 4, 5 and angle 6 are called the interior angles. The two corresponding angles axioms are axiom 1. If a traversal intersect two parallel lines, then each pair of corresponding angle is equal. Then axiom 2. If a traversal intersects two lines, 
that a each pair of corresponding angle is equal then the two lines are parallel to each other lines parallel to the same line if two lines are parallel to the same line then they will be parallel to each other let us draw a line tree traversal for the lines l m and n then that the line m parallel to line t and the line n parallel to l therefore angle 1 equal to angle 2 and, and the angle 1 equal to angle 3 because corresponding angle axiom similarly angle 2 equal to angle 3 corresponding angles are equal then we say line m parallel to line n